All right, we're going to integrate this using a change of variables, in other words, a u substitution. And there are a couple of things suggesting what we should use for our u. First, you'll notice that you have a composite function inside of this integrand. You have this thing raised to the fourth power. You'll also notice that you have an x to the sixth here and an x to the fifth here, and that you have an x cubed here and an x squared here. All of that together might tip you off that your u value in this integral should be x to the sixth minus 2x cubed. Taking a derivative to find du would give us 6x x to the fifth power minus 6x squared. And knowing that no matter what you choose for u in your integrand, you need to have a du in your integrand somewhere, we should be looking to see if we have this term here somewhere in our integral. And we do, and it's a little bit more clear that we have that, if you factor a 6 out of the right-hand side and divide both sides of this equation by 6, you see that we have this x to the fifth minus x squared dx, which appears in our integral up here. And we now know that we can replace that with a 1 sixth dx. U. So now rewriting our integral, this first piece here was just our u that we chose to the fourth power, and this second piece we already mentioned is going to be a one-sixth du. We can take that one-sixth outside of the integral. Now we can integrate this using the power rule. We can raise the power on u by one to give us u to the fifth power. We're then going to divide that term by that five. We're going to add an arbitrary constant on there, and we're almost finished. This 1 6 times 1 5th gives us a 1 30th outside. And now we need to back substitute what we chose as our u value earlier. We have u to the 5th, which should be x to the 6th minus 2x cubed, all of that to the 5th power. Keep that plus c on there, and that is going to be your final answer to this problem. All right, that's it for that one. I'll see you next time.